Hello grade 12 students and welcome to a new technical English 3 lesson. Our lesson today is review unit D part 2. Course book pages 65 and 66. Kindly open your book and let's start our lesson. Let's start with the objectives of today's lesson. After studying this lesson you will be able to discuss how a device works Write an explanation of how an electric motor works. Complete a dialogue using the present perfect passive. Let's have a look at our starter today. Watch the following video and answer the following question. What does an induced color current mean? Watch the video carefully, please. Electromagnetic induction. Prepare a circular coil out of copper wire. Connect the two ends of this coil to the two terminals of a sensitive galvanometer with a scale having zero at the center. This closed circuit is shown in the diagram. Note that this circuit contains no source of electricity and the galvanometer shows zero reading initially. Take a bar magnet NS and move it swiftly towards the coil with its north pole facing the coil. You will observe a deflection in the galvanometer when the magnet is moving. The deflection indicates that current is set up in the coil. Now move the magnet away from the coil. The galvanometer shows again a deflection but in the opposite direction. This means current is set up in the opposite direction. If you hold the magnet with its south pole facing the coil and repeat the above steps, the deflections are again observed, but are reversed. Similarly, motion of the coil itself also produces deflections in the galvanometer when the magnet is kept stationary. Do you observe any deflection when you just hold the magnet stationary near the coil at rest? No. A relative motion of a magnet and a coil induces the current in the coil. The current produced by a relative motion of the coil or the magnet is called an induced current and is said to be set up by an induced electromotive force, EMF. The production of an induced EMF in a coil in a closed circuit by the relative motion of a magnet and its coil is called the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. Now, what does an induced current mean? The current produced by the relative motion of the coil of the, or, or the magnet is called an induced current and is said to be set up by an induced electromotive force, EMF. Now, please open your course book, exercise 6, page 65. All I want you to do in this exercise is just to read how this, about how this device works. You have to read about the purpose of machine, convert electrical current into a rotational movement, scientific principle, electric current in a wire coil generates a magnetic field in a nearby conductor, main parts, you have to write, to, to, to write about the main parts of the device, Permanent uh, magnet, uh, electromagnet. Parts of electromagnets, you have here to uh, describe what does each part do. Okay. This is a description of how a device works. Okay. You have to write about the four things here, the four sections. And this is how we can describe how a device works. Now, please, let's move to exercise seven. Write an explanation of how an electric motor works. You can think of the answer and write it in your notebook, or you can search the internet or uh, search any place to find the answer. When you finish, please play the video again to check your answer. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answers. There are many steps. The first step is to the purpose of an electric motor is to convert electrical current into rotational movement. It operates 
on the scientific principle that when uh, electric current is passed through a wire coil, it generates a magnetic field in a nearby conductor. This is the first step. Step number two. The motor has a permanent magnet and an electromagnet which consists of a coil made of copper wire and armature, a solid bar made of iron or steel, steel brushes and a steel commutator. The coil which goes around the armature is, con uh, is connected to a power source via the commutator and the brushes. When the current is switched on, it flows through the coil and magnetizes the armature. The armature now becomes an electromagnet. The north pole of the permanent magnet and rotates 100 degrees, 180 degrees around the axle. Then the south pole of the armature changes to the north pole and it rotates another 180 degrees. Step number three. The brushes are connected to the power source. One has a positive charge and the other has a negative charge. As the armature rotates, the commutator touches a negative brush and then a positive brush. When the commutator touches a different brush, it changes the magnet pool of the armature. Now, let's move to exercise number 8. Discuss with a partner how the principle used in an electric motor is similar to that used in a metal detector. Do you remember? Now, let's have a look at the answer. Both devices use induction, in which a current sent through a coil magnetizes a nearby conductor. Now please let's go to exercise number 9, page 66. Complete the sentences using either to or by. You have to use one of these words, to or by. And the correct form of the verb in practice. Uh, what comes after to? To must be followed by the infinitive or the base form of the verb, verb without any endings. But by f must be followed by the gerund or verb plus ing. Let's have a look at the first sentence. The warehouse was secured. In this sentence, are we going to say to install or by installing CCTV cameras? What do you think the right answer is? Excellent. The right answer is by installing. Okay. Now I'll give you three minutes or four minutes just to complete the rest of the sentences. And when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back my dear students. Now let's check your answers. Number two, the tunnels have been dug. The tunnels have been dug. To link or by linking the two sides of the river. What do you think the right answer is? Great. To link. Number three. Can you read number three? The legs of the spa were constructed. To pour or by pouring concrete into them continuously. What do you think? Great. By pouring. Number four. The handheld metal detector was used space search. To search or by searching the passenger's body. What do you think? To search. Great. Number five. To allow or by allowing. Great. To allow. The last sentence, number six. The walkthrough metal detector works to generate a magnetic field or by generating. By generating. Great job, my dear students. Let's move to the next slide. Exercise 10. Write sentences from these notes explaining what has been done. Use the present perfect passive here. Let me remind of you of the present perfect passive. The present perfect passive is formed by excellent have or has plus been plus the past participle of the verb. Let's have a look at the first example here. Example number one. Let's read the sentence first. Transport spar to site 
in Atlantic Ocean. So here, we have to start with the object, the spa, and we have to decide to use has or have. The spa is singular, so we will use has. The spa has been, and the past parts of the verb here in the, at the beginning of the sentence, transport, transported to its site in the Atlantic Ocean. So please take your time to change the rest of the sentences and when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back my dear students. Now let's check your answers and let's have a look at sentence number two. We did number one. Let's have a look at sentence number two. More spa to see floor using cables. We will start with the word, great, the spa has been moored to the sea flooring using cables. Number three, attach top side to top of spa. What do you think? Excellent, the top side has been attached to the top of the bar, of the spa, great. Number four, number four. Set up pipelines network below spa. The pipelines network has been set up below the spa. Number five. Dig foundations for bumping stations below seabed. The, the foundations for the bumping stations have been dug below the seabed and be not here we used have because we are talking about plural here great the last sentence sentence number six construct risers and install pumping stations the risers have been constructed and the pumping stations have been installed now let's move to exercise 11 complete this dialogue use the passive form of the present perfect or past symbol be careful here, we are going to use two tenses, the present perfect and the past symbol. Okay, let's have a look at the first example. Have the walls been plastered yet? Now take your time to complete the rest of the sentences. And when you finish, please play the video again to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answers. Have the, the walls been plastered yet? Not yet, but the wiring, uh, what do you think, has already been installed. Because already, the word already refers to, or to the present perfect. Great. Oh, that's good. When the wiring put in. When was the wiring put in? Here we have to use the present symbol. It yesterday, it was finished yesterday. Yesterday refers to the past symbol. Right, and yet. Have the paints been bought yet? Yet is a word which refers to the present perfect. So we have to use the present perfect here. Not yet, but they by the, the customer have been chosen by the customer and they have already been ordered great number eight when was the order made the order was sent to the supplier this morning great my dear students this is the end of our lesson today i hope you enjoyed today's lesson till we meet again in a new lesson goodbye